I've made a couple of videos on Docker so far, but I haven't really explained how to install it on whatever operating system you might have. So that's what I'll be showing you how to do in this video. So if it works, please leave a like and subscribe, and click on the chapters to skip to the right timestamp for your operating system. So this is my Linux laptop which I don't have docker installed on, and we're not going to install it normally just by typing sudo apt install docker or something like that. We're going to go to any browser you like, and then search install docker engine. It'll be the first thing that pops up, and then just choose the distribution that you have. You could install the docker desktop app for Linux, but if you're using it on a server, you're not going to have access to that desktop. And it's a lot more convenient if you know what you're doing to use the command line utility instead of the docker desktop app. You can download the docker desktop app if you want though. So I'm using a distribution that is based off of Ubuntu. And that's also based off of Debian. I don't know what will happen if I click on the Debian one, but I'm just going to use the Ubuntu link. Now if I scroll down, it'll tell me to uninstall old versions. And I don't really have it installed, but I'll just do it anyways. I'll just paste that into my terminal. Now that it's done, we can scroll down. And what we're first going to do is add it to our apt package manager. So I just pasted the script into the terminal and I'm going to click enter. And now I can use the next command to actually download Docker, the latest version of Docker. And then enter to continue. Now that it's done installing, I'll just clear this. And if I type docker, I should see all this information. And if you don't see this, you can type sudo docker and see if that works. But if you don't want to use docker with sudo every single time, you can add yourself to the docker group by typing in the command that is shown on screen right now. And after you type that, you'll probably have to restart or log out and log back in. And then you should be able to use the docker command without sudo. So anyways, that is how you install docker on Linux. On Windows and Mac, you only have one choice, and it's just the Docker Desktop app. And the way to install that is just by going to any browser and then search for Docker Desktop. Then it'll be the first link that pops up. This will be in the description too. And then you can hover over here to see all the options. I'm just going to click download for Windows. Click on it to open it up. And it's just a really simple installation. Just click OK. Now that took some time to install, but after you click close, it will ask you to restart your computer. And then when I open it for the first time, it just asks me to accept some terms. And then I'm going to continue without signing in. Now it says starting the docker engine. This will let you use the command line utility too. You don't have to do everything from the desktop app. So if you start up your computer for the first time, docker might not be running, so you have to run it manually but you'll probably be able to make it start up automatically in the task manager. Now I'm just going to show you it works from the terminal too. If I open up this terminal and then I type docker, I should see all the information about the docker command. So anyways, that is how you install docker on whatever operating system you have. And if it worked, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be sure to make more docker videos just like this. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.